start off by apologizing for the super crummy lighting. <laughs> it is winter in the Midwest and it is cloudy and dreary and as I've said many times before, I have moved every possible lamp that I could without making a ridiculous glare and we're still going to fight it. So um, I thought that a quarter four flip of my planner might be fun. I'm still in personal rings. Um, I have been since October. Um, this is a Filofax personal size Malden. The color is ochre. Um, now the rings in here, I talked about this when I did the setup video of this planner. These rings are a couple millimeters bigger. This is a Filofax Malden that I de-ringed to put a stylogy in and um, several of you asked how I did that. I will do a separate video but essentially I made a small, a small cut down here at the bottom to take the rings out. So I just put the Motrum rings in the back plate and then screwed it in. So these are a couple millimeters bigger um, and just wanted to make sure I covered that. So here is what it is looking like right now. I am getting ready to take out the quarter four stuff. I kind of don't want to, <laughs> but, but I really need to. We got big changes coming up in the next two weeks and I really do need to like clean this out and start fresh. So let's just flip through quarter four. Um, I'm going to, I just did a setup video of this maybe a couple weeks ago. I'm going to copy and paste that entire description box into the description box for this one. So if there's anything you see, I have everything sectioned up in the description kind of like um, according to what it is. So like miscellaneous, decoration, inserts, stuff like that. So I will not tell you where everything is from this time. It will all be linked down below. And if you want like the full on setup video, that's the previous video. So there is some 22, 20. 2022 stuff already in here. Um, this is from SM Plans. So this is ready for 2022. Um, I do have schedule stuff like the full, this is all the year long stuff. Okay. And then for my months, I do just have the last three months of 2021 in here. Like again, this is all going to be 2022 stuff. So we have my monthly, which is the free printable from Peanuts Planner Co. I was going to use this for 2022, but the one that is available for 2022 has three days on this side and four days on this side. I really like having Monday through Thursday over here because that's the bulk of our week and then Friday and the weekend over here. So I did switch to a different insert for 2022, but here is how October ended up looking. It was little busy <laughs> definitely a little busy and then my in between grid pages there's november stickers are from paper minty studio and basically what goes on here is um the kids' work schedules anything out of the ordinary like sports uh, doctor's appointments and um one of the boys I share my car with goes to college locally, so I have his schedule written on here too because that's obviously different on different days. And then that is what November ended up looking like, and there is December. You can tell it kind of once school got out, it got pretty quiet, and actually a bunch of these games all got canceled. But that is how that ended up looking, and then this, it, this in between here is really quiet, this in between page. So then we get into the 2020 okay, so for my weekly. These are, this is for 2022. This is like the once a week tasks. Um, here is October. Now these inserts I'm going to stay with for my weekly. They are also from Peanuts Planner Co. I will, like I said, everything will be linked down below. And then the vellums that I use to separate each month within my weeklies are the free printables from Paper Test Designs. She has them available in her bio on Instagram. So this is essentially set up how, when I was using a Hobonichi Weeks, this is pretty much how I used it. I just like that this one has really light lines and it's already all sectioned up. I don't have to do any of that. I really like on the weekend to be able to just grab my planner and get it set up for the upcoming week and be done with it. So. Over here is the schedule. So like on my monthly, I don't have my youngest son is in grade school. Um, my second youngest is in high school. I don't have their 
schedule on the monthly because their schedule is the same Monday through Friday, right? But I do write it on here because this is what I reference as far as where I need to be when. And I do have to take them to school and pick them up, right? So, um, so over here is basically the driving schedule. Over here is where I put... Um, specific things as far as other schedule stuff, uh, days that are or tasks that are specific to that particular day. Here's where I write our meals for the week. Um, this section I was using as a next week section. Um, that is going to be changing to something else for 2022. And then this is just the regular task list. So that is what the weeklies ended up looking like. Again, stickers are from Paper Minty Studio. And I got a lot of use out of this weekly. I really, really enjoy it. There's October. And here's where November began. I'll kinda do like that maybe. I really enjoyed this. This was kind of everything I needed it to be. And it's really nice. Honestly, I don't stick to these meals. Like this is written with Monday. Obviously this is written with Tuesday. Sometimes I'll pencil in just the meal ideas for the week. I don't necessarily write them in on the exact day. It's just kind of like, so I know what I have or so I know what I want when we go get groceries. And then I know what I have on hand and then I'll just kind of make whatever works for that particular day. So that is getting to be the end of November. And then when we hit December, December peters out real quick. So there's the beginning of December. And then you can very quickly see when school let out because, oops, you know what? I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna take that off there. Because see, first of all, cause you can see I got sick right at the beginning of winter break <laughs> and, and it has just been kind of like, yeah, I even quit keeping track of meals. We've had leftovers so many times. Look at this week. It's so blank. Um, there was a lot going on in the Christmas planner in here and I'm just, just so much running around. So it wasn't like anything to write down. It was like getting stuff done like out of the house and whatnot. And then kind of the last big section would be my dailies. And for this, I just did a running list. So I do not have, I don't do, I know, I don't have October in here anymore. I only have November and December. And that's all it is. I just make a list of who I need to drop off when, if I'm gonna do tasks in between dropping kids off, I try to kind of put things in chronological order as far as how I would like the day to go. And then I just cross them off as they get done. And that is it. Now this I have printed on Tomoe River paper. Um, the weeklies and the monthlies I just have printed on regular 20 pound printer paper. Um, it's the brand I get at our grocery store. <laughs> Honestly, it's nothing fancy. Um, I like having those on the 20 pound paper. I really have found I like my dailies on Tomoe River paper for some reason. I honestly can't even quite tell you why I like them like that, but I really do. Um, I can get a lot more in here. I like to keep them for a couple of months so it kind of minimizes the bulk. Um, honestly, I think it weighs more. Um, like if I have so many pages of Tomoe River paper versus printer paper, I feel like the Tomoe River paper is what is adding some of the weight. Um, the planner does weigh under two pounds, I weighed it, but. <laughs> um, and oh, I haven't even been saying, so I have used all kinds of different list pages, note pages. So these are list pages from Paper Test Designs. These are note pages from Annie Plans Printables. <clears throat> These are from SM Plans. These are from Latua Notes. And these are from Paper Test Designs. And that's it, just what I need to do, maybe little notes. Um, eventually what happens is if there is stuff in here that I need to refer back to, like one of the kids, I kept one of the kids home from school because he had a sore throat and whatnot. So being, you know, how things are right now, I kept him home that day. So that goes on the, the fold out reference up in the front, kind of the index for the year. So that if I need to look back, you know, later in the year and see 
you know, when was the last time that kid was sick or what was he sick with last time or whatever the case may be. I, these daily pages will be gone by then, but I will have a reference for the year for that. And then I just have a whole bunch of blank ones for this. I have a lot of blank ones in here actually. And then all the various different ones. Um, and you know what I did already take out of here. This was where I had my Christmas planner from Paper Test Designs, which was so helpful this year. Oh my goodness, so helpful. And I have like recipes written back here. Um, so this is all just notes. This is within my daily section. This is notes. So this is where if I just wanna write down something quick that I don't want in those dailies, if it's something I don't want within that daily running, hey, show up here at this time and don't forget to stop at the grocery store kind of task list, I stick it back here. Um, and then this I will eventually pull out of here. I just needed it the other day. So, um, and it will go elsewhere. And then I have been using these mind mapping inserts also from Peanuts Planner Co. So those are in the notes section. So that is, otherwise I also had the, the Christmas planner in here and I took that out. Now, you know what? My journal, I honestly didn't even look and see if I should pull any of this out. I actually have to print the January, I have to do this today, um, the January kit from Journaling Home is available today. So I need to get that printed. This was the December kit. And I think what I can do, I have, I have like writing and then I have like quotes and stuff. So, and I also have this sectioned up um, with vellum from Paper Test Designs. And this is just a lot of quotes stickers from Paper Minty Studio. This is November quotes. And I just, honestly, this is where I have most of the time screenshot stuff. And then I'll go back through, you know, sometimes it's writing of mine. Sometimes it's most of the time this section is quotes. There's another section that's more writing of mine. Just quotes, quotes, quotes. And I actually have a whole bunch because look like December 6th, maybe was the last time I had so many screenshots clean out of my phone. So this is what I do. If they're, if they're, you know, quotes or ideas or whatever that I've taken screenshots of, I just copy it out, attribute it, and then I can, I back it up into Dropbox and then I can delete it off my phone. So that's just more astrology paper for that. And then that is pretty much it. Projects are, you know, I set this up close enough to the end of 2021 and I had a couple of big projects. Um, so they weren't really, they weren't really uh, too physically note heavy. A lot of those notes were digital. There's some more notes there that are gonna be for, you know, coming down the road. There's one from October. And that is pretty much it. There's my notes from the 25 Days of Planner Tips. Uh, sizes for the trigger list, uh, for the planning rep trigger list from that project. And then my tabs and whatnot back here, which one am I trying to escape? And then I just leave my stickers tucked in there. So that is pretty much it, you all. It's um, pretty basic but it is working really well and yes, it closes. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this short little flip through. Um, I would like to do this quarterly. This is really, I like watching other people's flips. I just like to see how the pieces all kind of work together. Now, because I set this up in October, a lot of the, the yearly index type of stuff that I had like up here, that's the 2022 stuff. I already have that in my standard traveler's notebook and I kept it in there for the year. So anything I've had to index for the year is already in that one. I didn't move it into here. So starting in 2022, when we do flips, these things are gonna start to fill in. Okay, so there'll be a little more to look at next time we do a flip through. I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>